10 toes down. Keeping it real when you come to God. So I just want to send a message today about the importance of getting some time alone with God and being 100% honest with Him. Being a goody two-shoe Christian, being a goody two-shoe person, um, feeling the need to always have it together, never ball out, cry, scream, admit that you're angry about something, admit that you have hatred in your heart for someone, admit that you are just frustrated. All of these things are so important for anyone who is a Christian or has a misconception about what being a born again Christian is. We are not expected to get on our knees and just say, God, thank you so much for everything. All is well. I, I'm going to be grateful for everything. And um, I love everyone and I have no anger in my heart for anyone. If those things aren't true. One of the best feelings that I have experienced is coming clean. When I have been furious about a situation or unsure, fearful about the outcome of something, being completely honest with God is really what he wants us to do. Um, yes, he can see into our hearts and he can see past any pretense or any fakeness that we may try to present to him in our quiet time with him. But having the ability to just go to God and scream if you have to. Um, sometimes I will, in my private time with God right here in this car, um, close the windows, put the tent up. I have these shades up on my car windows and just cry out to God if I need his help. Um, private time with God is so important but during that private time being completely honest with the Lord letting all your guards down telling him the truth telling him if you're angry about something or frustrated because like I said he knows what's going on inside our hearts anyway and sometimes when we're completely honest with God I shouldn't say sometimes every time I've been completely honest with God he comforts me he shows me things that I would not have seen otherwise. He reveals certain things to me. Um, sometimes there could be a guilt that we feel for not just being grateful. Um, gratitude is a big thing that we should have. But if we're angry about something or if something is frustrating us to the point where we just want to scream or something's taking so long to happen, um, kind of like what happened with Abraham and Sarah when God promised them a child in their old age. I mean, they were doubtful. They didn't believe it. And I cannot fault them for that. That's, they waited decades, you know, to have their son, Isaac. But in their fear and in their doubt, instead of seeking God, and this is what I gathered from the story, this is what I learned from the story, they possibly should have just cried out to God and said, why is this taking so long? I'm, I'm getting old. I can't, I can't wait anymore. God, I'm, I'm getting frustrated, you know, because Sarah did laugh in the tent in the Bible. Um, they discussed that Sarah laughed in the tent and she denied laughing when the angel of the Lord asked why she laughed when she was told she was going to have a child in old age. See, it's at those times that we need to be 100% honest and say, yeah, I laugh because it sounds ridiculous. God, I need your help to have, I need more faith. I need your help. We need to be 100% honest with the Lord. And I say 10 toes down because that's a popular saying right now. And it means, you know, standing on your word, being full, fully convicted about something and having integrity and all those things. But when it comes to God, that's the only thing I'm truly 10 toes down about. Because even in my marriage, I, I tell my husband this sometimes, like, I'm a good wife because of God. Outside of God, I'm not even a good person, let alone a good wife. So being 10 toes down in my relationship with the Lord makes me a better person in all areas, in my profession, in my life, in everything. Being a ten toes down Christian 
it's a benefit to the people in my life and to the world at large. So I just want to share my take on being 10 toes down, coming 100% honest to God when you're alone with Him, making sure you're getting time alone with the Lord. But when you're alone with the Lord, be 100% honest about how you feel. If there's unforgiveness in your heart, you might as well just tell Him. Tell Him the truth. He's the only one that could heal a broken heart anyway. And God understands. God reveals things to me when I'm honest to Him, and I just wanted to share that I encourage all believers to do the same thing. There's no need to pretend to be a goody two-shoes. None of us are good. And outside of God, we're all pretty horrible people. And so, hold on fast to the Lord, be honest with Him, spend time alone with the Lord. And I pray that God would bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye.